Hey guys, welcome back. This is Frost Terror, and we are playing Resident Evil 7. We are in the salt mines, and I think we're getting ready to go fight Evie or Lucas, or maybe both. Oh, in a space. I kind of want, I want that enhanced handgun ammo. Why can't I hold ca carry 20 of it? That's stupid. Alright, let's do this. Um, well, maybe we'll come back for it. If we can, if we can't, oh well. Actually, you know what? Let's just grab it and throw it in the box. The box is right here. Why not? Put the steroids in there real quick. Grab the handgun ammo. Maybe we need it later on. Maybe we don't. We're gonna pause there. Um, okay, I will probably play this later. My wife wants to go to bed, so I'm gonna go to bed with her. But we'll we'll attack this on to the next piece in a minute. So um, you'll be starting right now. Okay, so we're back on. It's the morning now, so I apologize. My voice is a little messed up. All right, let's move forward with this game. See how far we can get before my daughter wakes up. <coughs> some rope bombs, some chem fluid, man. I'm gonna regret not having that chem fluid, aren't I? I probably will. Part of me thinks I should just use the steroid now. something so we, there wasn't a big ass lake for no reason. Neuro rounds. Nice. I almost bet I'll be almost willing to bet the ne neuro rounds is oh shit. <laughs> Scratching my head and that looked like a person. I assume I've been infected. Fuck. Shit.
I can go back. Down to just 25 shotgun shells. Okay. Well, let's do it. If we die, we die. We'll go back to the save point. Use two bombs on two dudes. Alright, so this goes back up there. There's nothing around here except for, I assume, maybe items. Burner fuel I don't need. Maybe bring the burner with me. get far away from this guy. about the burner. <laughs> That wasn't what I meant to do. Oh. That's what I meant to do. <laughs> Oops. 
That's alright, I have a clean bill of health now. And I have 15 hang bullets. <laughs> oh, this is, this is going horribly. <laughs> horribly. But it's okay. Hopefully there's no more monsters. I almost feel like I should grab all this burner fuel. I know I left some back down there, but like just in case I do hit another box, I can take out the burner if my hand gets gone. I could really use some shotgun shells. Honestly, that's 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 what I could really use. Oh, I don't have any regular bullets. I'm gonna have to waste some bullets. That was ridiculous. I mean, use, I mean, use one of the big ones. I probably shouldn't use the big one, but whatever. I didn't bring my knife with me. Got some room, though. Apparently. Hey! I used the strong one. Got a new strong one. Nice. That's what I like to hear. See? Etc. We're on borrowed time right now. My daughter usually wakes up at 7 a.m. It's now 7:03. So any second now, she's gonna give me the signal, which is just her crying. Okay, so Magnum can come back. I mean, that didn't even work. Yeah. This looks like we're gonna be out of the salt mines, or maybe yeah. we're getting close. We are getting close, my friends. Awesome right now, a save machine in a box. Machine gun ammo and strong first aid med. I don't have a machine gun. 
Okay, so a save point we have, no box. Alright, let's go ahead and save it. So we now have burner fuel for a weapon we don't have, and we have machine gun ammo for a weapon we don't have. Which I'm really upset about. I'm really upset when I found the captain's key. Hey! I know where this is. Can you let me out? Jesus. Alright, I have a feeling I probably don't need the handgun anymore. But we'll keep it anyways. And then right a shotgun down is that. Okay. I'm going Magnum first, man. I don't give a shit. This is the... For the boss. I'll go Magnum first. to be her daddy? That's weird. Now it's mommy's turn to kill you. Um, I assume I'm going back up here. I heard you for a second, but I don't know where you're at. back downstairs. Our save game recorder is not there. There she is. Got her. Got a beat on her. <laughs> is this thing open yet? Could be missing a lot of. They're gonna be one of us, and then maybe you'll play nicely. I'm not playing. 
Watch the end of this. And just... Okay. Oh, she's old. final boss because it feels like if that was the final boss I have all this ammo nope 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 this is the final boss Grab it, whatever it is, grab it. Use it. It's an Albert O one. Oh, 
play time for it. watch some of the end sequence. Redfield. I'm glad we found you. The fuck took you guys so long? So there's your your link back in with the actual Resident Evil games. We assume that's Chris, but it could be a cousin or a brother or something. Mm -hmm. Another brother. Mia. Hey, I'm Mia right. saved. I'm glad. Did I? Nice positive ending. They say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the Bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. But now Evelyn's dead. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing Mia. But now she's back and wants to start over. Put all this behind us. Maybe this is where the next door opens. So we're on to the credits, I believe. Yep. So that's a good game. Um, what's not just for me? And I'll give you my thoughts on the game.
So, um, like, <sighs> playing with this game, I can see why I enjoyed everything that I did, and I can also see why I disliked everything that I did. Um, the first half of the game, even up until the boat, like, even on the boat, you know, there were some puzzles to be found, you're finding items to open doors, doing everything else. The, the boat seemed much more like a stealth type of game, which is very strange in, like, an action environment with this, but there are a lot of stealth aspects of this game to go around. Um, just, you know, in the Baker Mansion and everything like that. Uh, I was gonna think about playing the DLC, but I read a bunch of reviews about it, and the Chris mode is really good, but it's basically just, like, a shoot 'em up These... Um, end of Zoe DLC apparently you just walk around punching zombies uh, and the only other one I kind of wanted to play was Bedroom but I'm not sure um, maybe we'll come back to it at one time but yeah I mean th this stuff was all it was great it was, it was really fun playing it through a second time and kind of not knowing what's going to happen with the jump scares it was pretty good having a general idea of what the story kind of followed, at least in the early parts, was helpful. But I, I thought it was overall a good game. I think I feel like the the end felt rushed. And I think part of this is Resident Evil. This is one of the first games I think this might be the only the first game Resident Evil's ever had DLC for. And it felt to me like they didn't they, they had extra ideas, and they were like, we can't figure out how to fit these into the storyline. So, let's just make them DLC. Eh. And because of that, you know, because they were like, oh, well now we know we're going to add all this to DLC, I felt like the ending was rushed. You know? Um, that last fight that we just had... Um, the whole just injector with the needle, like all of that was <coughs> like you didn't really need your ammo. You you save up your ammo. Like I I kind of get it, but what's I mean when you think about Resident Evil games, I think about okay, we have the Magnum or you have your powerful gun that you have, and you save that for the last. Well, I mean I save it for the last boss. And in this game everything that was done while well, done well for 90% of the game the last boss was the last boss was basically nothing you know the crescendo of the game was kind of just petered off so that, that's something that I wish had been done differently. And maybe it's maybe it's the case where, you know, that builds into the DLC. But if you don't buy the DLC, you just buy the base game. If you're someone who's, like, very against DLC or, you know, not willing, not able to buy it, you know, you don't want the end of your game to end like that. So, I mean, that's the only thing I could say. Other than that, it was a great game. I really enjoyed the mansion area, looking back on it. Um... I really enjoyed. I actually really enjoyed that puzzle with the the bur happy birthday puzzle. I think it might have been my favorite part of the game. Um, more puzzles like that are fantastic, and I think that's kind of where that's where they really relied on their old stuff. So I'm excited to see how they how they do with Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil 2 seemed like they kind of had some puzzle aspects, but they took a lot of that out, uh, I think. And in uh, Resident Evil 3, they've already said in some reviews, some, not reviews, but in some interviews, that they're going to make the puzzles a little more realistic. So... I think Resident Evil 3, we may have already talked about this, but in Resident Evil 3, um, 
you know, you have the weird, like, gem puzzle and the clock puzzle and everything like that. It's like, oh, we got this, you know, ruby for this clock in a building across town. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it's just something interesting to see how everything goes. But that'll be out later this week, and we will jump right on it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to play next. I'll probably get a game of baseball, a game or two of baseball in, just because um, I think I'm falling behind on some baseball videos. Um, but other than that, uh, let's see. I cannot skip this. Oh, I can skip this. So let's see what happens here at the end. If it gives me... No? Can I skip this one too? Oh. Hello? We're back. Capcom. Dolby, Louisiana, Sunday, June 25th, 2014. There are the bakers. Alright, so let's see if there's anything else. I doubt there's anything else. There might be. Do, 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 do. Difficulty normal. Playtime. 32.56. Uh, I feel like that's not right. <laughs> I definitely feel like that's not right. Um, there must have been something weird that went on at the beginning of this. Maybe I left it on for like a day by accident or something. I don't know. Um, but okay, so number of restarts, 15. Mr. Everywhere is destroyed. I got 11 out of 20. I had 13 out of 18 unique coin, antique coins. So there are only 18. Nice. I got, I got all the files. Item box open, healing. Okay, cool. Difficult. I I unlocked Madhouse and I unlocked the Albert One R. I unlocked the Secrets of Defense. I don't know what that does for me, but okay. So, um, all right. So that'll be it. Thanks for uh, watching. And now that we're done with Resident Evil Seven, we'll move on to something else. And hopefully, I will figure out whatever that is uh, shortly. But thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.